Hi guys, I'm Philip Magnus and I'm going to play a game I'm very excited about. This is the sequel to one of 2014's best games, The Banner Saga. Let's get on with it, shall we? Import saved game. Yes, I do actually have one of those. It is very exciting. Stoica back and we'll see what Team in is over. Is a strong funk out the flame rocker Time continues washing over us moment after moment, like waves on a coast. Some more fierce, more violent than others. So few of my kind, the giant war, remain alive. Even so, I find myself wondering if humans while able to bear children, suffer more for the loss of loved ones. Several weeks have passed since we slew the Sunder known as Bellower, but the chaos of the world did not wither as we hoped. The world is breaking. We sail aboard hastily crafted ships, for the safety of Arborain, the human capital. But the river curses us with a clear view of the dreads, assaulting another hopeless village. Well, that was bleak and hopeless. And yes, completely in tone with the last game. Oh, we're starting off with villages. Fair enough. I suppose this is one of our new main characters. This one's mine. Oh, we've got a lancer or a spearman. A spearman. That's your spearman. No, no! Two thefts with you! Oh! Hello, Red. I see we are, in fact, better to let him keep fighting. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. Fair enough. This is all just like the old game. I see some some minor hmm. some heroes feel more tiles than others. The Horn heroes are a race of giants called Varl who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Check the... click the tile you want to move to... then click the check mark to confirm. Move Ivor here to get him into attack range. Is this really necessary, by the way? To target an enemy, click the tile in which they stand. Yeah. Strength, armor, I know all of that. Can we just move along, move along? Ooh. Yes, I think I will. He's down! Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. All good and well. Oh, we now have obstacles. This is a completely new addition. And a nice one too, I believe. Now we will use willpower to get on with it. And... Right. Yes, yes, I was about to do the same. This gives us all the details we need to know on Sundering Impact. Awesome. He's not going to be able to do anything to me, is he? My armor is too high. Oh, he managed to take a very unlikely hit. The animation looks even better, I think, than it did. Which is really quite impressive. And I don't mind it at all. 
The villagers' reactions range from terrified by the foes to awestruck at your arrival. Their leader approaches and bows in front of Ivor. Your timing makes me think the ghosts have returned. Please, I... He stops when Ivor nods his head towards you. The man peers under your hood. I can all these those who saved us from those things. She ordered us to land, and those things are dredge, like the ones you probably heard about as a kid. Between losing so many clansmen and this, I feel I'm not myself, I thank your child. He whips his cloak back with a flourish. I'm Aleo, the Scald, and your name? I let and this is Ivor. Ah, name's destined for history. Sounds like the brave poet is going to use us in a few proper verses. I'll even make them rhyme, given the time. His smile seems genuine, as much as the concern that follows. Do you have any idea what might be causing the deep rumbling underfoot? Deep rumbling? Could be that giant serpent again. The serpent in the sun? Rather, mer? I'm no holy man, but joking about dead gods feels wrong. I don't think the sun serpent would break mountains and try to swallow us all. Who could say with the sun stopped in the sky like it is? Aleo looks sceptical. Tell me, did you just come from Borgart? We heard the rumour. The Sunder Bellower was sacking the town. Ooh. Yeah, we'll tell him. Aleo pauses and looks to Ivor, who confirms your statement with a nod. He's still indeed. Sunder slayers here among us. Depths. There are so many questions to ask. They'll have to wait until we're all safely back in the longships and leaving this place. The scald nods his understanding, but another question crazes his bro. Leave? Not to sound ungrateful, but this place. It's all we have. It's our home. Let's see then. He said we had the sense to leave while we were able. But my children, you don't understand. I know exactly what it means to be a child stripped from your home and family. Elio takes a step back before lowering his head. Packing and tending to our dead will take some time, but I'll have everyone on the ship soon. You watch Alio rejoin his family. Moves his hands too much when he talks. It's unsettling. You smile but say nothing. People think we're heroes now. The world is breaking in more ways than one. It's not the first time you've been called a hero, Ingvar. Ivor, your father's closest friend, looks unamused. <laughs> He's one of the giants known as Varl, and has fought Dredge in the northern winters, personally killed one of their generals, the Sunder Arrays, and lost an arm to the Sunder Bellower. Your humour reminds me of your father's. Since we're talking about things, we'd rather avoid. <sighs> I know he's gone, but I don't know how to let him go. <clears throat> I just keep hoping I'll wake up and see my dad again. Yeah. I keep thinking this is one of Luke's pranks, like when he made your mother think he had the plague. <laughs> he did that. That's so cruel. I have a smile face when he sees your face. Sorry. I'm sure thinking about losing one parent is hard enough. I like hearing how they were together. Happy humans, I used to call them. She made him smile. He made her laugh. You look so much like her when you smile. The entire caravan seems to enjoy it too. He walks towards the village, leaving you alone with your thoughts. Oh, that's actually very sad. Poor Alette losing her father.
I can tell from now this game is going to have all the fields. Chapter 8 from their homes must all flee. I'm too excited about this. Minus 7 supplies. The travelling merchants are surprisingly well stocked, Yubin, the old viral dubbed Scrivener, says. Since Borgart, our numbers have grown. People have scavenged for food and eaten it too. Regardless, we'll need plenty of supplies considering our destination. Thanks, Ubin. Of course, he says. Oh, almost forgot. There's something ruffling the feathers of the ravens. The mercenaries who followed us from Borsgard. Chat with their leader, Bolverk. But be careful. He's not like other Varl. This medallion gives you information about your caliber, including your population, supplies, renown, and the number of days that have passed. Fair enough, all fair and good. This banner indicates that you have enough supplies to provision your caravan for 28 days of resting or travel. A larger population requires more supplies per day to survive. You can acquire additional supplies at this market. Click on the market to see what is available. Oh, these are the supplies the merchant has available. He will give you five per renown, and you need seven supplies per day to survive. Yeah, you have 42 renown available to purchase supplies. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to get 35 days worth of supplies for now. And then I am indeed going to confirm. Shall we? Yeah, let's get 50. Mark says you have items available. These items are equipped by your heroes and can provide a great advantage. Yes, I know that. Actually, this tutorial is a lot better than the one at the original Banner Saga. Let's see what this is. This is actually really, really good. But I have known who's level 5. Would this be a worth uh, level 10? Would this be a worthy investition, I wonder? To break one, move one armor and rest. And one armor per turn. No, I am going to risk it and take this. Because I really think it's a good item. And later down the line, it is going to be useful. Let's see what one of my favorite characters, Oddlave or odd leaf is doing. A friend and mentor is demonstrating fletching an arrow to a few people as you approach. Give us a moment, will you? The group walks away as odd leaf stands and wipes loose feathers from her tunic. Those people owe you their lives. Your decision to stop here saved every one of them. Well, our clansmen all agreed. Don't be naive. Saving people is what you do, what your father did. Those under his this banner agreed because they follow you. Her tone is forceful, and you almost smile to break the tension. Almost. I let. They respected Rook, and that respect has passed to you. But give them any reason to doubt you, and it will vanish. Then I won't give them reason to doubt me. She stares at you for a drawn-out moment before nodding. Her demeanor softens. I wanted to discuss the clansmen. They're good at scavenging for food, and the more we have, the more food they'll find. Training some of them to fight will help keep the others safe, but it takes time, and I'm not sure we have much of that to spare. As our leader, you're expected to decide how many fight and how many look for food. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Odd. You turn to leave, but Odd leave stops you. She grabs you in a tight hug. Rook had a way of making it easy for all of us to be stronger. Her words seem to be as much for her as they are for you. And now let's see what the old Val Berserker is up to. This is about morale. Sufficient supplies are very important for that. 
The Vile Mercenary leader, Bolva, and a rather large female fighter are talking to Junu, a member of the spellweaving Mendes Council. Bolver looks annoyed. Nothing unusual. There is no haggling in this. You already accepted the offer in Borgart. Get this one to do it. Whoa, this guy's nostrils are a work of art. Get me to do what exactly? If Juno is surprised by your presence, it doesn't show. She continues to stare straight at the Varro. I let it sing to the survival of this caravan. Something I doubt you care to do. She's a little small for such a big role, isn't she? <laughs> and you're big for your small role. The woman looks wounded for a brief moment before readying an insult. This will help nothing. What we're discussing is private. A look at Bolverg says she expects him to keep it private. Evie needs my help with healing the wounded, but we should leave soon. See Hakan at the dock when you're ready. Juno leaves without another word. Fine, Valka! One of these days, Claw and Fang will get thirsty for spell weevil of blood. Claw and Fang? I guess those would be his axes. <laughs> yes. The large axe heads are polished, the blades sharp, and the cheeks carved from plenty of use. But it's the grey handles that stand out. They're unlike anything you've seen before. So you're leading the, this rabble now? Only to Arbor Rang, then it's King Maynolf's job. Like he's got the answer to any of this. He'd royally piss himself if he ever saw a dredge. The big-tailed fighter laughs. What's your name? I'm Volka. A shield maiden in charge of keeping the ravens alive. Bolver gives her a, stare, a stern look, but she doesn't back down. I already know who you are, chieftain. I heard there's a problem I should know about. The Val seems to grow taller and more wild as he takes a step towards you. You stopping to save every fine idiot along the river will get us all killed. Makes more sense to only stop the ships when we need supplies. And get rid of half these useless people too. They're slowing us down. That is not going to happen. We'll see what happens when you really get desperate, Kit. If you're even still in charge of these fools. Bolvik snores and turns his attention to a large sealed card behind him. His bare cloaked back indicates the conversation is over. Whew. That last voice is actually kind of difficult to pull off. A pity that I can't see my heroes here. Anyway, I think we'll leave. The wooden planks of the well-used dock creak as you walk across them. Harkon, a warrior recently acknowledged as king of the Val, paces on the dock. Not sure I was made for this. He says as you approach, Commanding in battle is one thing, but deciding how many chickens we need to bring? Um, I'm just as lost as you are at this. Never thought I'd have something. Never thought I'd have something in common with a human girl. Hacken says, smiling. But you still have to prove to your people a girl can lead. I don't envy you that battle. He looks around and shrugs. Looks like we're ready. Let's sail. After lightning the funeral pile, the lost villagers find seats on your rickety long ships built of scrap wood scavenge in Borgart. The ravens find space around a large cart on their black-sailed vessel. Or s slowly move all the boats into the river's current. How is our caravan going to move? On the pretty ship? Yes, it will. Look at this. Look at how pretty it is. Again, I love the details. I wonder how long it takes for them to make one of these backgrounds. The complaints of you are growing. What does she really know about getting us to Arberang safely? That's what it says. 
A few others chime in with agreement. Her father was something else but her. She should be looking for a husband, not telling me what to do. Some laugh, others encourage him. Olive looks at the group of men before turning to you. She seems interested in hearing your response. My father was great. I hope to be remembered as fondly. No. But, damn. I can see this going both ways. Hmm. Just a few minutes in and I'm already having a difficulty with a decision. Let's go with this. Relax, girl, the smith says. We're not the only ones with doubts about you. And if you ever threaten me again, I'll... You draw your bow and aim. I've got too much going on to repeat of myself. The men look angry, but now they're outnumbered. They disembark as the next turn in the river. Oddleaf looks impressed. Good. I think I made the right choice. I need to show them that I'm not to be made sport of. Aleo looks ill. At least it's not the brackish sea. He whispers to himself as he steps around drawers and baggage to speak with you. I'm not sure we were all built for aquatic voyages, he says. And I hear Arberang is quite a distance away. My people could use a few hours rest on solid ground. The hopeful looks from others where you and your signal for the ships to make land. Would you mind <clears throat> Would you mind telling me why the capital is our destination? Ario asks. The Valkyrie says the Mendes there can protect us. Mendes? The skull's shoulders slump. We're all hoping for something more substantial. He realizes Avin and Juno can hear me. Him. I thank you for healing my people, but we're talking about an army of dredge. The Vulcan, her apprentice, share a smile, but say nothing. Dredge, Ario says, almost in awe. Man and Varro storied for from oh so ever long ago. But they're real and here. How have they made it so far south? His glance at the Val is met with both anger and shame. The longship rocks gently in the skull, grabs a rope to steady himself. If only we had the fabled horses to ride upon, without pace the dredge and beyond sound footing. His dramatized misery is almost as amusing as his thanks when he steps back and onto land. Morale improved. Excellent news. I'm very glad. Morale is good to have. I know firsthand how difficult it is to move on with great sadness in your eyes, in your soul. Yes, I know all this. The map is, by the way, Absolutely beautiful. Get down with this. Oh, okay, I have to rest. Who's this? A strangely familiar man with a spear. Oh, I know this guy. He used to be the specific character you got if you actually kickstarted the game. I never got him. You wouldn't be confused by Trigvi's presence if you'd supported this journey long ago. <laughs> what? The man's eyes glaze over for a moment before clearing. He now acts like your old friends. It's hard to push a spear through a tree. Easier to turn the tree into another spear. Oh god. <laughs> Smile politely and walk away. I'll leave the tree alone. Good one. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad to see that we're actually going to get Trig V here. And now let's see our member list legions of characters. As you see, I have a few too many characters who were not quite leveled enough. Oh, look. I can choose a second ability. That sounds exciting. Let's do that. Overwatch. Oh, I love Overwatch. I love the game Overwatch. I love the skill Overwatch in, um, yeah. Anyway. 
I do want to promote and I also would like to get another star and another oops come on I'm making mistakes oh I've got actually enough yeah obviously Ooh, what's this? I see. Those are kind of like sp specializations, I suppose. Very interesting. Absolutely, absolutely fascinating. I like it. A change to the system of the original. I very much approve. All right, then. Yeah. I'm going to level her pretty quickly if I get enough renown, which is in itself a difficult task, trust me. But good, very good. Let's move on, shall we? Two men approach, one oh, on Elsie's around. One is wearing a wolf cloak and missing a hand. The other is a guard with crazed hair shoved into a helmet. Oh god. Finally! A moment alone with my new leader. Is there something you need? Seems I should be asking you that. I'm Rega, the governor of Borgart. Oh, it's good to meet you. I'm glad you feel that way. I've been watching you command from a distance. Not bad so far. The guard nods his agreement but says nothing. He really does have quite a crazy hair. Thank you. You've never been to Arberan before, have you? I never left Skogger before all of this. A pretty girl rarely needs to leave her village. I'm sure men were already offering to provide for you. But I'm from Aberang. It's different than anything you can imagine. Different how? It's the seat of power. Twice as many people as Borsgarth, all clawing to get closer to the king. It's a sight, but it'll probably scare you. I'm not easily frightened. Really? I heard you've made it this far without killing anyone. I hope that's not out of fear. I have actually killed plenty of people. Remind yourself of that so you're always prepared to act. I teach you that what I can along the way will try to shore up the fact you're a young girl, but it will take work. He smiles and with emotion in his guard depart. I don't trust him, but I will rely on his teachings. He's, after all, a leader of people. Or was. No longer. Oh boy. Ahead, Driftwood has collected, creating an impressive barrier for the longships. Alternatively, going ashore has its own risks from whatever might be lurking in the trees. Hmm. Bang the ships and set all axemen to chopping. Mason lad, Ivor, Haken, and anyone else with an axe start hacking away at the wood blockage. Thudding sounds fill the air. Moment l moments later, Rugger says, Down, we've got company. As Dredge approach from the woods, you realize you'll have to fold them off until the axemen are finished. You're about to enter a battle. If you find the battle too challenging or difficult, or if you find yourself needing a tougher challenge, you can modify the difficulty settings. Yeah, fair enough. Turn order. Oh, this is so pretty. During deployment, you can place your units anywhere with the blue tiles area. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I know. I know. Plenty of dredge. Fair enough. I'm sure we can take care of them. I think we'll send you off to take 
care of the little ones. He's very dangerous. Well, that will help as we'll odd leave. Perhaps a step back for her. You, I think. I think he will do splendidly. No, I can't tag the tree, can I? I want to know what is the trouble and what isn't. It's kind of important. Get the debris clear, hurry! Tell worth telling. Every two strength enemy has over ally gives plus one strength damage. Cool. This is useful against big strong dredge. I bet. Let's use two of that willpower. I can't actually impel him, but I can attack him and break a nice bit of his armor. I think I will not use overwatch, but rather shatter his defenses. Something to remember me by, hopefully. And this one, this one, whatever will I do with him? I know. Break him to tiny little dredge pieces. I have a theory, by the way. I think the dredge are innocent in all this, and we are just being incredibly cruel and awful human beings by persecuting them like that. See? He is very useful. I actually lost him in my first playthrough. It was very depressing. This is the bad thing about Mogger. He's really slow. This one is going to try to summon an ally. It is going to prove useless. I can guarantee. Let's chip off a few points of strength from the old bloke. And he no longer has any points. What a pity. But hey, I'll take care of him. I know it. Who's attacking next? This fellow. So let's make sure that he is a target, shall we? I don't want anyone harming my dear old... What's his name? Before I'm done with all those. Now he's just taking space I need. And that... That I cannot allow. No matter. I think... I actually can't end him, can I? I suppose this will have to do. What a... Ah. I'm messing up. And that makes me feel... Very sad. Should have just killed him. But I wanted to get a really nice, really awesome whirlwind going on. Now he'll some. What was that? I have no honest idea. And another kill for a let. <laughs> you hear the axemen cheer as the blockade of wood breaks up and disappears down the river. But the wretch have regrouped. 
while him looks especially menacing. The fighters around you are tired, but could buy everyone else enough time to safely board the ships. We'll join the others when we finish our job here, you say. Those around you laugh and brace for another round of buffle. This one is very nasty. I know him. But I will break him. Do not doubt that. Plus, most of my characters are almost full in health, so... It is not that much of a problem. I did use all my stars just now, but hey. Did plan on making short work of these dredge. And this is the price of doing that. But this guy is really slow. I need to do something about that. I'm afraid that old Gunulf, 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 Gunwolf, Gunwolf, Gunwolf. Yeah, let's go with Gunwolf. You, my friend, will have to sacrifice yourself. I'm sorry. Oh, they're not even able to kill that guy. Isn't that sad? Oh god, what did I just do? That was absolutely idiotic. Ouch. This will hurt. Hmm. I miss Rook. Finally, we are making progress now. As much as I expected. Arches, isn't he? Oh no! Use his silly ability to actually help me. How nice of him. I will take the help. Not much I know for certain. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to end this. This took way too long. But at any rate, it is victory, and I got a bunch of renown. Which really is the point why I do any of this. 19! Bloody hell, that's a lot. Good. I'm going to use that. Some of our heroes are injured. We might make it down this river to the capital without any more trouble. You look at Ivor, surprised by his optimism. And I might spray twins and start flying. Would that make it for your missing arm? Hey! I get to make jokes about losing my arm. Not you. I suppose that's fair. So what are you worried about now? 
I think you should make use of this trainer and his tent, what we haul around everywhere. You can't hesitate anymore when it comes to killing others. Not when it comes to protecting your own. Let's bang the ships and make sure you're ready by challenging your skills. I really don't need to have my skills challenged. Blah, blah, blah. Well, come on in and let's have a look to you. Sven, the trainer says. Really? Oh, God. This is going to be dull, isn't it? I know of this. See? Easy. Do I get renowned for this? Huh! I actually get renowned for this. Awesome. I'll do all the training challenges now. You watch for a moment as Avent, Juno's apprentice in the Mender, found nearly dead at Ridgehorn, moves his staff in a com complex pattern, repairing some armor. Not a bad festival trick, right? Care to give it a try? Sure! Alright, here, try this. He makes an intricate motion with his staff and broken links in the armor fused together. You try to duplicate his motions, but nothing happens. Even smiles. Anyone can be a mender, but the training can be... difficult. I'm not sure I like the way that sounds. You've already completed many of the lessons. Tending to wounds, endurance trials, focus amid distractions. It comes naturally to you. Then what would I have to do if I said yes? You'd have to practice. Day and night. Even looks up toward the unmoving sun. You'd have to practice quite a bit. It wouldn't be easy. It might not even be popular with the clansmen. They're a little skittish around Juno and me. We're not making it sound that great. I've never been much of a recruiter, but mending has its advantages, both on and off the battlefield. Like using lightning to bring down an ancient Val bridge. Avin grins and picks up the armor. Hopefully not. Anyway, move it over and we'll talk about it again. I got to check on the fighter who was wearing this. Cool. Now I think it's time to... Yeah, yeah, I know they're injured. It happens to the best of us. Poor Varro. They get injured for a lot longer than we do. Let's get back to moving. Actually, a day of rest, I think, will do our morale good. Yeah, I know that some of them are injured. And I know I've got plenty of characters to promote, I just don't have the resolve necessary to do that. Not right now, anyway. Let's move on. You look at all the food freshly placed in the supply cars. What's all this about? You ask Cold Leaf. The clansmen are trying to help as much as possible now. She says, Whenever they can, they'll forage for nuts and berries or fish and hunt. She hands you a piece of fruit. They may not know how to find, but they can keep us alive by keeping us fed. That's very nice. Thank you, clansmen. I will gladly use all the supplies you get for me. Oh, look, a village. A crowd begins to cheer from one of the longships as a mouse struggles with his fishing net. As his catch nears the surface, some voice concerns. You're close enough to make out a large shape in what looks like fur or hair on the net. Release your net. No, let's keep. Back up! shouts the man with the net. Long dead, what's it mean? 
Superstitions blow across the ships like a gale. Oh god. I should have shot it down. Should have trusted my first instinct. Yeah, that's important to do. I'll know for next time. Don't trust. Anyway. Shouts from one of the rear longships grab everyone's attention. The quick construction is proving faulty and the ship is taking on water fast. With dredge on the bank and all other ships almost at capacity, you consider your options. Ask shipwrights for advice. We'll need her out of the water, says one. Nonsense, just plug the holes with some coal and tar for now, says another. As they argue, clansmen begin jumping from the sinking vessel, grabbing for ropes and extended oars. Must make it aboard other ships, but not all. I'm not starting this off well, am I? I'll try and not get sidetracked there again. Time on the cramped longships is proving too much for the children. They're climbing ropes, interrupting rowers, and constantly leaning over the sides to touch the water. Some violent clansmen look annoyed. Remind everyone that this will soon be over. We're all making sacrifices, you say, loud enough for everyone to hear. But it won't be forever. You hear some grumbling, but the members of the caravan mostly nod their agreement. Good. I managed to do something right. Oh god. Let's get to the village and deal with whatever life brings us here. Smoke from a village catch catches everyone's attention and the long ships begin to slow. I doubt these scraps of wood we're floating on can hold many more, Ever says. You feel the governor's gaze on you and he slowly shakes his head. They may need resupply us for our trouble. And who will resupply them when they realize the trade routes are blocked by dredge? When the ships land, you and a few others rush towards the smoke, but the closer you get, the stranger the situation. There's no sound of battle or people panicking to put out fires. Keep going. We'll see what the dead are carrying. The Vals commend the fire's tradition, but so do many things about him. Hmm. I'm curious. A barn is the only thing burning. No one is around. Unusual. Some kind of trick. Feels that way. You're arriving in time to see a group of armed strangers throwing your people from a ship full of supplies and pushing away from the bank. You help pull people from the water and find places in the remaining crew of the ships, Governor. Oh god. Oh god, that was awful. Oh. Shite. 